Today we are back with a fire rescue series on the case team app in FS17. Today's video was highly requested by many of you. Today we will be staffing our second station and then we'll be heading over to the main station. We'll be heading out from the house here in our 2017 Ford F-250. Our second station is focused around brush related calls. The equipment over there is capable of going off roading, going into the woods, and putting out forest fires. I'm excited to be back here with a fire rescue series. Hopefully, within the next few months, and possibly even uh, the next uh, few weeks, uh, getting fire trucks and farming to 19. I think that would be pretty cool, but until then, we'll continue uh, to do throwbacks here to 17. I really do like this 2017 F-250, especially being the extended cab long bed. You get uh, the best of both worlds, which is an 8 foot bed and also room to carry more passengers. And here we are at the station. Now this is our second station. Yes, it is volunteer, but we do have a few that do staff as well. Usually we get 3-4 calls a week. Hopefully we get a few calls and then after that we'll head over to the main station and respond to a few calls. Let's take a quick look here at what is at the station. Now we do have a brush truck out here. Now this is for big massive uh, forest fires you guys since we've got a hose out front and we got a big 6-700 gallon uh, water tank there in the back. Inside here we do have quite a lot of fire gear along with three different vehicles. We have a Polaris uh, Ranger equipped with fire equipment. We have a Ram 3500 guys since B3 and then we have B72 guys since both uh, high demand uh, trucks and now we are just receiving call. We have a small brush fire behind a shop. Let's head out here in the Ram. If you would like to see more uh, fire rescue videos here on the channel, drop a like and let me know down below. And we can see it there in the distance. Looks to be a pretty big fire. And uh, we got to get over here and I'm going to uh, put it out as quick as we can. I hope everyone's having a great day today. Let me know how it is down below. My day's been a bit busy so far, but it's been overall pretty good. Now with this truck, we could actually drive right up close to it. Not too, too close because fires are hot. But up next, we'll come over here and we'll get this hose going. Now this shoots a ton of water from the built-in tanks. And here we go. So look at that, guys. We got that going. We'll actually back up quite a bit. And perfect. So we got that. We'll get out our hose now and let's kind of uh, get at this fire. Now we are using quite a bit of water, but uh, this truck has enough to put out a fire like this. Looks like it is not spreading yet to any further trees, which is a good thing. A small forest a fire, small brush fire uh, could turn into a big, big fire uh, burning houses and just taking over the lands. And now I really do enjoy this fire rescue series. It's very unique and pretty cool thing that we could use fire trucks here in Farming Slater. And I definitely do plan to feature it quite a lot more in the upcoming videos. It looks like this tree will have to be removed, but it looks like uh, we are putting out the fire on the tree. After quite a lot of time, we got the fire out here, and that's going to be it. Uh, this really did help out having that on the truck, putting so much water on it. That is higher pressure, and uh, that is pretty sweet. So we'll, uh, we'll actually get backed out here onto gravel, and we'll turn the lights off. But I really do like this Ram. It's a 3500 Dually uh, with the Cummins diesel. This thing looks so sweet, especially this uh, back uh, bed for it. The fire trucks in FS17 are pretty awesome, and like I have touched upon, hopefully we can get them back in FS19 uh, soon. It's already a busy day here for us. Hopefully we do get some more calls. Uh, that way we could kind of get to use some equipment.
and I think we'll leave the uh, truck outside and we'll pull out the other one. Uh, I think that is just a cool thing to do. Sometimes when everyone's at the fire department, you guys see the trucks outside. You do wash them and different things like that. And at the end of our shift, we'll uh, definitely wash these trucks. Now I do want to take B72 uh, out, Brush72. Now this is one sweet truck, one of my favorite older fire trucks we have here in Farming Cylinder. So you guys can see this is pretty awesome. We'll wait around here for the next call. We've just received a call for small brush fire that's out of control. We'll be heading out here in Brush2. For this call, we will just use our lights and only use the sirens at intersections. And I think that's going to be a pretty uh, unique thing to do as well. Sometimes they do uh, different types of response with sirens and no sirens. And sometimes I like to change it up for these videos. And we could see the fire there in the distance. So the story is someone was having a small fire burning some uh, wood that recently fell off some trees. And it just got out of control. And the uh, garden hose is not doing it. And that is why they called us. Wow, that's pretty big. Hopefully it does not melt the siding on the house. If you do have any cool ideas here for the Fire Rescue series, please let me know. I definitely want to do more of these and uh, continue uh, this series as well. So we got that going uh, right at the bottom, which is good, and we'll get this one going. Looks like it's going out pretty quickly, which is great. We got the fire pretty not. We got the fire knocked down to a small fire that he can handle. Let's hop back in here, get uh, that hose turned off, and head on back. Now at this time, we'll get this truck washed, and then we'll head over to the main station. The, that station has been pretty busy, so we'll head over there and see if we could give a hand. Uh, this uh, ram brush truck has come in pretty handy so far. I really do like it. It's pretty maneuverable, uh, being that it's not that big of a fire uh, vehicle. And it is pretty quick uh, to get to the uh, calls. If you guys have not already, I do recommend you go over to Instagram and give me a follow at Square2448. I do post some pretty cool daily pictures and updates over there that you guys would definitely enjoy. So we got the uh, pressure washer out. We'll just wash it out really quickly and then uh, we'll put it away for the day. Now, like I have touched upon, I think we'll be doing some uh, fire rescue videos in 19 very soon. There is some fire trucks in the works, which is pretty exciting, and I can't wait to bring this series over. And I do have a few more series uh, we will be bringing over, but I want to do more and more throwbacks here for all of you guys. Since we didn't use a uh, brush 72, we'll just put it back in, and then we'll get the RAM put inside. But I definitely want to do more throwbacks. This is still a great game, still offers many features that 19 doesn't have yet including mods awesome we'll get these doors closed here and let's head on out oh this f-250 here in oxford white looks so so nice now we do have a toolbox here with our tools as well uh in case we needed any And it looks like we do have a few people here at the station. Like usual, I try to get the end spots wherever I go, try to park as far as I can to not get any door dings or anything because these are expensive trucks and I do try to take good care of them. So that looks pretty good there. And uh, let's kind of head inside and just kind of wait around for our call. We've just received a call for an RV on fire. We'll be responding here in Engine 2. Now they say that this is an engine related fire so we've got to get there as quickly as we can. Prevent this RV from catching other trees or even the forest grounds on fire.
I am trying to use our air horns at these intersections to make sure everyone knows and you guys can see that was a bit tricky and I really do wish that the uh, vehicles here in Farm and Slater would kind of yield to fire vehicles. And we are approaching here. We could just barely see an RV here in the distance. We'll get the uh, water pumps going here and we'll get going. Looks to be a pretty big RV, 30 uh, feet long. Uh, very expensive RV, it looks like. Now, I am now going to be starting to kind of put some water here on the trees. We definitely don't want this to spread, so let's kind of see if we, we can do that before we kind of continue uh, to knock this fire down. Now, it would be nice to kind of have that fire hose on the front of the engine that we could use, or even up top, that some uh, fire trucks do have. Possibly bringing the ladder truck could have been a good idea to get like aerial water going on it But it looks like we are getting it under control pretty quick and the fire is now out Let's come back over here get the pumps turned off and they will definitely have to call for a uh, Heavy wrecker to get that towed out of here But I hope you guys enjoyed today's fire rescue video back here doing this go back to FS 17 Let me know if you guys would like to see more. Thanks for watching stay tuned for next one and subscribe for more Oh,